Gotta take my gum out for this part. Ah, okay, you guys. This is the moment that you all have been waiting for. My story time. Story time. This is something that happened back when I was in high school. Okay, okay. So, back when I was actively dating, there was this one girl that was, you know, she was, she was kind of cute. Um, you know, didn't really plan on doing, you know, doing anything crazy. We just, we're gonna hang out. I had my homeboy Matt with me and we were gonna pick her up. And, um... You know, I, I forgot how it all started. I think it started from Instagram. Uh, I got hit up on Instagram. I think I was in either 11th or 12th grade at this time. And um, she was like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not talking to anybody. Um, oh yeah, um, I'm, I'm free tonight. You know, we were, we were all gonna hit the football game, you know, we, we was going to the football game. So, Pulled up, and things just seemed kind of, kind of sketchy, you know. There was nothing but trees, 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 and more trees. And um, I pulled up, and it was just a whole bunch of trees and going down the trail. We were sitting there, and she was like, "Oh, don't, don't pull up. Just, just wait, just wait." And I was like, "What the heck is she talking about?" And then. It was silence. Kept messaging, kept messaging, and I was getting nothing in my home. And you know, my homeboy Matt was sitting beside me, and he's in the Navy now, so you know, you know we used to hang out. You, you probably would have seen him a lot. We used to hang out, but um, he's in the Navy now. He's gone. Stop talking to me. You know, people. That's what happens when you graduate. People, people change. Some people move on and cut themselves off from you, and you know, you gotta be okay with that sometimes. But um, he was sitting there, he was looking around, looking all crazy, his eyes got all big. Next thing I know, I, I look in my rearview mirror and another car from across the street pulls out of their yard and pulls up right behind me and they won't let me out. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? Next thing I know, I get a text saying, I am so sorry. And I'm like, what the heck is she talking about? Next thing I know, I see a big old Jeep pull up in front of me. And I see a big old fat man, a very hairy fat man with a very large bat, get out of his Jeep walks up to my driver's side and leans on my window and I'm like oh I see what's going on here she lied to me she lied to me and got me in trouble it's a good thing I have an honest face or you know this that situation could have got really hairy he came over leaned over and was like um, yeah, sir, um, he was like, what are you doing here? And, um, I looked over to my homeboy, and he was frozen. He wouldn't say anything. He was just sitting there with his, he was just looking all crazy. And I was like, oh, boy. I said, okay, I gotta find, I gotta figure out a way to get out of this, this, this hairy situation. So, um, he had a bat in his hand, and he was looking at me wondering what the heck was I doing in his, you know, driveway. And um, he was like, you're not here for my daughter, are you? And this was probably, like, I'm not really big on cussing and I'm not really big on lying. But um, I had to put on my lie face today. I, I, I lied and I was like, um, I was like, I was looking for Davin. I was like, <laughs> I, I was like I'm, I'm looking for Davin. I was like, he's not here, is he? I was like, um... He was like, oh, I know what Davin. He was like, he lives down the road. I was like, oh, my bad, man. I was like, yeah, we was looking at Davin. We were going, we were going to go to the game, and he was supposed to spend the night or something like that. He was like, oh, oh. He was like, then why did you have your lights on? I was like, well, I didn't want to seem like I was, you know, sketchy or anything like that. I was just a little nervous because all the trees. And he was like, oh, he was like, well, I, he put the bat up, and I, he was like, I apologize about that, son. He was like, it's just that my daughter is real bad about sneaking out so he was like 
So all the family keeps a watch on the house to make sure she doesn't go anywhere. And it was her aunt that was blocking me in and wouldn't let me out. She had called, she was, she had called them down there and everything. And she was like, she's in real big trouble. She's real bad at, about sneaking out, real bad about going with boys here and there and blah, 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 blah. And um, I was like, oh man, ever, ever since then, every time she, she sent me a message, I didn't respond. Ever since then, I have my guard up. And if you don't have a car, we ain't talking. If I ain't talk to your parents, we ain't talking. If um you ain't got your own car and you can't meet, you know, meet me at the movies or whatever, we ain't talking. Nah. I was like, that is never happening again. That is never, ever happening again. And it was funny, like, how I turned a bad situation into a good situation because... Me and her dad was really hitting it off. We was having a good conversation, and we was laughing. And Matt was still in the passenger side, frozen with his eyes all wide open. And I was like, God darn it. I was like, I'm glad I got an honest face, and I don't look like no thug, man. Because I would have been in trouble, man. Shoot. I could have had the popo called on me, or I could have been hit with a bat. But, yeah, um, he apologized for blocking me in and being so scary and crazy. And um, his aunt let me out, and I said, "I hope you have a good night, sir. Sorry for um, you know, sorry for the, you know, the cra craziness. Sorry for all this." He said, "No, no, I'm sorry." He was like, "That's my bad." He said, "I hope you, I hope you find Davin's house." And I was like, "Yeah, man, well, I'm gonna find his house, all right." We drove straight on up out of there and sped off, and I looked at Matt, and I was like. What were you doing, man? I was like, you didn't say anything. I was like, what if, what if I panicked? I was like, dude. I was like, if I hadn't said nothing, we would have gotten some serious trouble. And um, you know, that was just, that was, that was a pretty shaky experience. I was like, wow, like, that was my first time ever like getting in a type of situation like that I've had multiple different situations happen in my life but I've never actually had to like you know I've turned good and good situations bad situations into good situations before but like I've never had to lie you know like lie and like put on like put on my act I had to get my acting skills going I had to get my acting skills going you know but you know I made it out of there all right and I took a really big lesson from that I, um, I learned a good bit. Things I learned that night helped me stay out of trouble in the future when it came to getting DM'd by girls or talking to girls or, you know, just like, it's like having a filter. You know what a filter is? It just, you filter out what you don't want. Like, if something shows like red flags and, you know, red, red, <laughs> red flags go up. You know, I just I just shut it down immediately because, like, you know, I don't bother anybody. I'm just trying to live my life, and I just like making smiles, and I like having a good time, you know. So that's um that's my story time about how, um, you know, about that. That's my story time about how I almost got. I'll, I'll make up a name or whatever. I just I got I got to edit this. I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it yet, but um. This is what happened when I was like, I think a senior or a junior in high school. It was, it was a big lesson. Appreciate you guys for watching though. I really appreciate you. If you're new here, make sure you press the red subscribe button. Our fam is growing stronger every single day. I'm seeing more engagement. I really appreciate it. We just hit over 5,000 hours of watch time and that is incredible. I really appreciate you guys so much. I love you guys so much. We are on our way to 1K. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys have a good morning, day, slash night. Make sure you press that bell and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my posts. And um, till next time, till my next video, till my next video, I will holla. Peace. I'm about to go get some shrimp.